the holder of blessed. In any city, in any country, go to any church of God you can get yourself to. Look for the nearest preach or preacher and say, Damned be all who are not. If he replies, Blessed are those who are, then you are doing things right. If he should instead give you a strange look, you have either chosen the wrong church or failed. There's no way of knowing if you failed, or what can make you invalid to have audience with this holder. If you failed, though, perhaps that is for the best. This holder is more powerful than usual, and isn't to be tampered with. The priest will lead you to a previously uninteresting door. Beyond that door should lie a hallway much like the rest of the building, but lined from end to end will be ornate crosses. Do not touch any of them, for they hold the gate open. Through the door at the end of this hall lies a small chamber made entirely of stone, and when you step into it you will feel very far from where you were. The priest will follow you, and point to a baptism pool in the center of the room. Step into the pool, and get ready to hold your breath. The priest will begin to recite a prayer, and then will put you under. Close your eyes and hold your breath for approximately fifteen seconds. Don't move, and don't think about anything. You are entering an eternity, and thinking about your trials will simply place you into them forever. When you open your eyes, you will be in a vast ocean of clear water. You are the only thing in sight forever, with the water only disturbed by the ripples of your presence. The sky will be mirrored perfectly in the ground. The beauty of its perfectness will awe you, and don't worry, it'll last. You will have to wait from now until what can only be assumed as midnight. Do as you wish, though I personally suggest that you have a flotation device, because it's a long wait. No harm can come to you while you wait, save muscle cramp or boredom. Perhaps you can test how deep you can swim, but avoid drowning. And if something moves in the corner of your eye, don't try to look at it. The shock and horror may kill you, even if it can't. When the moon rises to its highest point, look straight at it, and don't blink. Ask it. Who will be with me when they are all together? Expect to be lifted from the water. The sensation will be like that of having the earth itself drop out from under you. Keep your eyes on the moon, or else you will fall back into the water, into the maws of the ancient beast Leviathan. The beast will slowly digest your body, and cage your soul in its stomach until the final coming. This is a fate too many a foolish have suffered. If you had a chance to see it before and survive the pure terror its vision imparts, congratulations, you are one of only seven in the last million years. Your ascent should slow as a gleaming object comes into view. At the top of your rise will be a small light, centered in your sight in such a way that, at a distance, it could not be distinguished from lunar glow. It will approach you slowly, and every moment it closes distance with you, your mind will be filled with visions of the moment when all of it will make sense. You will ache for it, reach out for that second of understanding, but all in vain. When 
when the light touches you, you will be hurled back into the water head first, so deep that the pressure might crush your body were it real. Water will seep into your lungs, and you will drown. When you are done dying, you will wake up on the grave of an unnamed person. In that tomb you will find a corpse robed in white. These robes will attract the attention of all cursed men, and they will seek your guidance in curing their illnesses when it is worn. If you choose not to wear these robes, however, they will leave you for a more worthy seeker. The robes are item 373 of 538. They must be your final dressings. <laughs>